Hello everyone, and welcome back to another psychological analysis of Berserk. Berserk is arguably surrounded by the story and destiny of two characters, Guts and Griffith. You can interpret their representations in various ways, but one that is largely unknown is how Kentaro Miura creates these characters to represent psychological facts about the human psyche. The self is a conceptual idea that is rooted in various mythological and esoteric writings as well as a concept that was made relevant by Carl Jung. Jung describes the self as the unification of the conscious and unconscious mind. This is a process within each individual's psyche, and one that leads to wholeness. It is the ideal of the individual form, the unification of all aspects within the psyche, the shadow, the unconscious, conscious, the persona, and various other psychological states. It is amazing to understand this conceptualization of the self and the pathway towards it through using Guts and Griffith as a symbolic representation of two aspects of the self, one being the tendency of good and the other being the tendency towards evil. The process towards the self, which is the union of the conscious and unconscious, is a winding path. Jung analyzed this as historically being represented as the symbol of the snake, a path that plays into good and evil in a back and forth manner. Griffith throughout Berserk represents evil and to build a kingdom that strives towards the good. Yet he pursues this through the pathway of evil, while Gut strives towards justice and love, and in the process, struggles with his shadow self of evil, the aggressive aspects of himself, and the desire to dive into hatred. The representation of these two characters is the pathway towards the self archetype, or what exemplifies this archetype. Both Gut and Griffith represent the intertwined nature of the opposites of good and evil, and the need for both of these aspects within the human psyche for true wholeness and self-discovery. Though Kentura Amira brilliantly shows the complexities of the human psyche in a symbolic manner, I'm not sure if this was a conscious choice or the result of his unconscious self seeping into the characters that he designed. Nevertheless, the symbolic aspects of Berserk are endless, and I hope as you watch more of my videos, you get a broader understanding of the psychological nature of Berserk. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and we're almost at the 1k mark, which I'm super excited about. And as always, take care everyone.